Hello everyone, I am Rosalind from Invensys Learning with a session on Certified in Risk and Information System Control. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Are you eager to become a risk management and information system professional? If yes, you should have a clear idea of CGEIT and what processes you need to follow to become CGEIT and be efficient enough to maintain, monitor, and implement risk-based automation at their workplace. Many certifications are available in the market for IT security certifications, but CRISC is one popular certification. In its article, we will discuss what is CRISC and everything related to that. In today's session, we will discuss CRISC and start with some information regarding ISICA. So, without further ado, let's get started with today's agenda. We will start the session with ISICA and how CRISC is a part of it. Next, we will move on to know about what CRISC is. Post that, we will take a look at the CRISC certification in detail. Moving on, we will discuss the CRISC certification requirements. Next, we will look at why to take CRISC certification as its benefits in the IT world. We will also discuss the syllabus, which is combined with its four domains in detail. Next, we will discuss the CRISC examination with a detailed explanation of its cost and exam format. Post that, we will discuss the job opportunities related to CRISC certification. We will end this session by looking at the target audiences who can take up this certification as experts handling risks and threats of any enterprise. I hope you are okay with the topic of discussion. So, let's get started. Introduction to ISICA Information Systems Audit and Control Association, ISICA, is an international professional association that offers a broad area of topics in our library, including audit, assurance, control, information security, governance, COBIT, and more. ISICA has served the professional community for more than 50 years. ISICA's Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control Certification, CRISC, is one of the IT security certifications. There are multiple certifications available in the market, but CRISC is one of the popular certifications. The Information Systems Audit and Control Association, ISICA, equips professionals with knowledge, credentials, education, and community to grow their careers and transform their organizations. Now let us move on to the next on what is CRISC? The CRISC stands for Becoming Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control. It is the only credential associated with and focused on enterprise IT risk management. As per ISICA, CRISC has been globally recognized. In addition, it is the standard body recognized from ISO 17024 standard, and the only credential focused on enterprises IT risk management and accepted as one of the leading certifications for information risk and information system control perspective. One is enterprise risk management within it and how an information system that is is control can be implemented and globally recognized as we know it. First, it is designed, documented, implemented, and monitored so the entire control life cycle would be considered the most current and stringent assessment based on the latest work practices. Second, CRISC addresses the demand for the professional who understands both the technology and how to implement that and the process and aligns effective risk management and control framework with enterprise goals. So as we have seen what CRISC is, let's now focus on what is CRISC certification and why it is on-demand certification in the IT industries, especially for security purposes. What is CRISC certification? So, the ISICA Certified in Risk and Information System Control, CRISC, is ideal for IT audit, risk, security professionals. The CRISC certification is honored to professionals who are experienced in managing IT risk and maintaining information security control. The CRISC certification also affirms your ability to implement, monitor your knowledge, and expertise in risk management. Other IT professionals who work in an IT organization can also assist with this certification. This qualification gives professionals the expertise they must have for efficient risk management and upskills themselves with the certification. This knowledge is implemented with the safety and efficiency of IT security models, controls, and processes. As a result, this certification is growing in popularity, as well as demand. In 2017, only 20,000 certified professionals with ACRISC certification made an average salary of $130,000 a year in the USA. However, the number of certified individuals is only rising, which is 30,000 by 2020, and so is the demand for making this certification a profitable career option. As of 2020, ACRISC Certified Professional. 
It makes upwards of $146,000 a year and has been ranked as one of the highest paying certifications in the information technology sector. Let's now focus on CRISC certification requirements. While we discuss the introduction to the course and its demand today, let's see what the requirements are, including prerequisites, eligibility requirements, qualifications, and experiences needed to be awarded the CRISC certification. There are definite prerequisites for applicants who want to obtain their CRISC certification stated by Isica. We are going to discuss them in detail. Let's start with. First, a professional must possess IT risk management and control experience in information systems. Second, CRISC certification code of having professional ethics obedience. Third, completion of successful CRISC certification. Fourth, continuing professional education, CPE, policy adherence. Now let's start one by one in detail. Let's start with first. A professional must possess IT risk management and control experience in information systems. Here, a professional must have two of the four years in CRISC domain working experience and three years of working experience in IT risk management, implementation, design, and security control. The whole experience will be valid once you apply for certifications. Aspirants must keep in mind that there would not be any substitute for experience refusals. Also, the work experience will be termed valid from the time you apply for certification and must be gained within five years, from that date, and no more than 10 years. In addition, it should be verified. Let's go through the second criteria. CRISC Certification Code of Having Professional Ethics Obedience Successful applicants for CRISC certification will have to adhere to, at all times, a code of professional ethics, which Isica lays out. Violating any rule can result in a legal investigation, and those found guilty of misconduct may face disciplinary measures. Fortunately, the ethical code is to the point and relatively not tough to follow. For example, it's forbidden to disclose any information or asset gleaned from exercising responsibilities, unless legally required to disclose that information. In addition, responsibilities must be performed professionally, with objectivity, and with great due diligence. There are also on standards to follow, for example, exercising high conduct of character at all times. Moving on to next. Completion of successful CRISC certification. Now, the CRISC examination by Isica is open to every individual interested in IT risk management and information system control. However, emphasis has been placed on taking up and passing the examination. The candidates need to complete the CRISC examination, composed of 150 questions, with the passing marks being 450 out of 800. Upon that, you would receive subsequent information on how candidates can apply for certification. Moving ahead with the last one. Continuing Professional Education, CPE, Policy Adherence. Successful certification holder candidates, required to adhere to CPE policy. Let's start with the first one. The knowledge and skills in areas of IT should update risk management for CRISC holders. Next. To distinguish between certified CRISC holders and those who cannot meet the requirement for continuation. Last but not the least to assist top management provides criteria for development and personnel selection. So, whatever has been mentioned, are the mandatory eligibility criteria that you need to adhere to to be certified as CRISC professional. Now, as all criteria are to be fulfilled for the globally recognized certification, why is it so important? Why is taking up this certification so exciting? First, it must have benefits that are worth taking up the course. Let's see. Why take up CRISC certification? Working professionals with a CRISC certification credential have a complete understanding of the risks in the IT sector and how to manage them effectively. They are well trained and become experts on creating strategies, handling these situations, or preventing them together. Certified CRISC professionals are a great benefit to any organization. We will go through some of the benefits that come with a CRISC certification, which are a pay increase, possibilities for promotion and future roles, a more robust resume, greater knowledge of risk management, potential for communication and education, up-to-date knowledge. Let's get started with each one in detail. First, a pay increase. For starters, CRISC certification could set professionals up for a pay increase, if not now, then in the future. It is because CRISC certified IT professionals tend to make extra money than their non-certified peers. In other words, they could get hired at a salary hike or could be in a better rank to ask for a raise in the future. 
Next. Possibilities for promotion and future roles, earning CRISC certification could set professionals up for promotions and future roles. Those certified professionals could advance their careers as security managers or rise to become chief information security officer. CRISC certification could be of help to someone looking for ways to improve chances for promotion. Moving ahead to greater knowledge of risk management. Of course, becoming CRISC certified requires learning a wide area of topics about risk management. The certification will increase the breadth and depth of knowledge, giving employees more tools, skills, and resources to use in their IT jobs. Next, a more robust resume. Any certification in a specific field will make a resume look better and appear more competitive than other applicants. Not done yet. Potential for communication and education. To become better versed in security and risk control topics, which can also help someone become a better communicator. As a result, CRISC certified employees may take on more responsibilities in the workplace, such as communicating complex topics to a lay audience or educating the other people in the department. End with. Up-to-date knowledge, the world of IT security and risk management is always changing. Getting CRISC certified will ensure up-to-date knowledge. CRISC certification ensures that you are recognized as a professional with the skills and experience to provide value and insight from an overall organizational perspective on IT risk and control. So, it is important to have an insight into the CRISC certification syllabus. In addition, the candidates need to be clear about the sectors they should master to handle enterprise risk and threat possibilities. So let's get started with the CRISC certification syllabus. CRISC certification syllabus. CRISC course is divided into four major domains. The main reason to choose them is to test your expertise in the four work-related domains. The details of each domain, with its percentage of difficulty, which I am going to say are Domain 1, Governance minus 26%. Domain 2, IT Risk Assessment minus 20%. Domain 3, Risk Response and Reporting minus 32%. Domain 4, Information Technology and Security minus 22%. Let's start explaining each of them in detail. Governance minus 26%. In this particular domain, 26% of the CRISC certification syllabus is covered. And here, you'll learn how one can analyze and evaluate IT risk. In addition, you will have a glimpse of both organizational governance and risk governance. Most of the organizational structure, goals, roles, responsibilities, and culture required for a business process are explained here. Moreover, You will learn about risk profile, appetite, and risk tolerance, with the professional ethics of risk management. The domain governance is also broken down into two parts, they are A. Organizational governance B. Risk governance We will look into both step by step. Let's start with organizational governance. Here the topics that we'll cover during the training are Organizational strategy, goals, and objectives Organizational structure, roles, and responsibilities. Organizational culture. Policies and standards. Business processes. Organizational assets. And, for risk governance, you will be master in R. Enterprise risk management and risk management framework. Three lines of defense. Risk profile. Risk appetite and risk tolerance. Let's move on to the second domain now, which is. IT risk assessment. The IT risk assessment domain covers roughly 20% of the CRISC certification syllabus. In this domain, you will learn to determine the likelihood and impact of risks on business goals, benefit the organization, and make effective risk-based decisions. Here, the analysis and evaluation of risk scenarios is an important requirement because it allows you to determine the probability and degree of damage that a particular risk will cause. In addition, you are also assessed on your ability to identify the status quo of existing information system controls and if they effectively mitigate IT risk. You will learn to review the risk and control results and assess any shortcomings presented in the existing environment. You will also learn to assign the correct ownership of risk, accountability and communicate these results to top management and stakeholders. In addition, this domain also shows you how to update the risk register regularly. The domain IT risk assessment is also broken down into two parts which are A. IT risk identification B. IT risk analysis and evaluation Let's start with IT risk identification, and here the topics which we'll cover are Risk events, example, contributing conditions, 
loss result threat modeling and threat landscape. Vulnerability and control deficiency analysis, example. Root cause analysis risk scenario development. And for IT risk analysis and evaluation you will be master in R. Risk assessment concepts, standards, and frameworks. Risk register. Risk analysis methodologies. Business impact analysis. Inherent and residual risk. Moving on to the third domain, which is risk response and reporting. Determination of risk response options and the evaluation of the efficiency, effectiveness of risk management are learned in the third domain, which accounts for about 32% of the syllabus. You will have the control to consult with the risk owners to introduce or formulate measures aligned with the business objectives. Consulting with risk owners experts helps in developing effective risk management plans through making informed decisions. In addition, this CRISC syllabus domain and design and implementation cover how to validate a risk action plan. Therefore, adjusting reducing measures can be made easier. Since accountability is key here, must establish clear communication lines among all stakeholders involved in risk ownership. You'll learn how to create effective and efficient control measures. In addition, you'll learn how to define and establish key risk indicators to manage risk changes. These changes are critical because they tend to change the IT risk profile of the organization. Reporting these findings is essential to ensure decision-making by relevant stakeholders and also realizing business objectives. The domain risk response and reporting are also broken down into three parts, are A. Risk response B. Control design and implementation C. Risk monitoring and reporting Let's start with risk response, and here the topics which we'll cover are Risk treatment or risk response options Risk and control ownership Third-party risk management. The issue, finding, and exception management. Management of emerging risk. Here are the topics for control design and implementation which we'll cover are. Control types, standards, and frameworks. Control design, selection, and analysis. Control implementation. Control testing and effectiveness evaluation. Here are the topics for risk monitoring and reporting which we'll cover are. Risk treatment plans. Data collection aggregation, analysis, and validation. Risk and control monitoring techniques. Risk and control reporting techniques. Key performance indicators. Key risk indicators. Key control indicators. And the fourth and last domain is information technology and security. The requirement for reduction of the risk in data breaches and attacks in IT systems is increasing. So, applying security controls to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive information is necessary. Therefore, security control is the key area in the fourth domain, which covers around 22% of the syllabus. In this domain, you will get to know the principles of both information technology and information security. In addition, you will learn information security concepts, frameworks, and standards along with IT operations management, with many emerging technologies. The domain, information technology, and security, are also broken down into two parts, are A. Information Technology Principles B. Information Security Principles Here are the topics for Information Technology Principles which we'll cover are Enterprise Architecture IT Operations Management Project Management Disaster Recovery Management Data Lifecycle Management System Development Lifecycle Emerging Technologies And here are the topics for Information Security Principles which we'll cover are Information security concepts, frameworks, and standards. Information security awareness training. Business continuity management. Data privacy and data protection principles. As we have completed the whole syllabus yet, we need to see what is all about the examination of CRISC. So let's get started with. CRISC certification exam cost. The CRISC exam content storyline is related to changes in the work practices of the IT risk profession as well as market dynamics and trends. The exam cost for attending the CRISC exam differs based on ISICA's membership. The below information shows the exact information about CRISC exam cost. For ISICA members, the certification exam cost will be $595, and any individual who wants to go for recertification would have to pay an extra $45. Similarly, for non-members of ISICA, the certification would cost you $725, and if any individual wanted to go for recertification, then they would have to pay an extra $85. If you are an ISICA member, 
then the certification would cost you $595. For recertification, it would cost you an extra $45. If you are not an Isica member, then the certification would cost you $725 for recertification. Therefore, it would cost you an extra $85. Next comes the exam format for CRISC. Let's take a look at Exam format for CRISC CRISC certification training imparts knowledge on risk management in IT technology. The training also validates your knowledge of best practices and principles processes involved in IT security and governance. The CRISC certification exam format is as follows. First, the exam duration, which is going to be 240 minutes next comes, the exam type, which will be a closed book, and multiple choice questions. The exam accommodates 150 questions, with a required pass mark of 450. Therefore, the maximum score that one can acquire is 800. Once the exam is done, applicants can apply for certification if all other requirements have been satisfied. Now let's explore the network of CRISC job opportunities and forge your career path into IT governance. CRISC job opportunities. CRISC credential is specific to professionals, more so those who deal with control and risk, for example, IT risk management, information systems control, project managers, business analysts, and compliance professionals. A look at each of them will demonstrate to you that CRISC job opportunities are dynamic. Being a CRISC certified professional, you can identify and evaluate IT risk and aid your organization in achieving its goals. Once you earn these credentials, there are numerous CRISC job opportunities for you to relish, including various sectors. Let's have a detailed explanation of each possible role. Let us start. IT risk and control. Here, you'll take care of the responsibility of identifying business risks and applying control principles to reduce them. Business risks introduce unpredictable in realizing profits or losses and failure to predict future trends accurately, which may cause the fall of the business. In addition, you can apply control principles to protect the company's assets. CRISC certification upskills you to become adept in the two most important IT controls, automation of business controls, IT operations, and environment control. Mastery of these two will permit you to support business governance and management and assist in building IT infrastructure and implementing their applications. Next is IT risk management professionals. Possessing a CRISC credential implies that you are a trained expert in IT risk management. This feature grabs the attention of employers who seek to hire risk certified professionals. As a risk manager, you can assist an organization by comprehending the impact of risks and the consequences in business. Risk management is a delicate component of business innovation, and thus your CRISC certification will make you a valuable asset. Next is Control Professionals Control professionals are experts in designing, implementing, and maintaining information system controls to mitigate your organization's IT risk. The CRISC designation stamps you as a game-changer and knowledgeable in issues related to information system controls. Moving on to Project Managers as a CRISC certified, your task involves carefully planning, organizing, motivating, and controlling resources to achieve certain goals, usually IT risk or is controls related, and appear successfully. Next is Business Analysts Employers have grown more aware and seek CRISC certified business analysts to ensure their business runs evenly with no hitches. In addition, business analysts can identify threatening business risks and offer countermeasures against them to the management. Last but not least, Compliance Experts. CRISC job opportunities are not just limited to just IT and information systems. Legal compliance experts are also CRISC certified and are tasked with reviewing laws and regulations to complete risk analysis and business impact. In addition, these individuals lead an efficient team to develop, design, and deliver compliance strategies. As we have the end of today's discussion with the CRISC target audience, let us get started with it. The certification is targeted to those professionals, who are mostly associated with development teams, or with a higher level audience. Some examples of professionals mentioned, are IT directors Risk professionals IT professionals Project managers Chief audit executives Consultants